Hello everyone, this is my commercial project. It has high performance and is very durable. It is fully integrated with protective functions, including output short circuit protection. I can share the project schematic file with you. You can also purchase this project. Please contact me via email or my personal Facebook. Thank you to JLCPCB for helping me with this project. JLCPCB is at the forefront of six layer PCB technology and they are offering free via in pad. This new technology minimizes errors during the SMT soldering process. This is the soldering path of the chip. How would you route it? If the number of pins is low, you can route traces directly outwards. However, when there are many solder pads on the chip, it becomes difficult to do the fan out. So we drill vias to transfer the traces to other layers. Note that we first extend a trace from the pad before drilling the via. While routing becomes much simpler, you still need to route at least one trace from pad to via. So there can still be issues with pads being too dense or too numerous to route effectively. If we directly place the via directly on the pad, there's no need for additional trace before via. But this can lead to solder wicking away through the hole during soldering, causing defects or cold solder joints. Via in-pad technology addresses these issues. We still place the via on the pad, but then fill it with resin and plate it with copper. The surface shows almost no trace of this and soldering is as reliable as with a regular pad, saving on routing, optimizing board size, and also enhancing thermal conduction. If you're looking to optimize your routing and save time, you can take advantage of free via in-pad service. Try it now and save time. After about a week, you will receive the PCB. This time, I chose a black PCB. It looks better than the other colors. The quality of the PCB is still very good. This project has two separate boards. One is the power board and the other is the feedback board, which are connected by cables. Because I also sell boards with components for customers to solder themselves, I use mostly dip components. Soldering dip components does not require much skill or expensive equipment. First, we will solder the gate resistors for the MOSFET and the discharge diode. I use the FR107 diode, which is inexpensive and very fast. There are a total of 28 MOSFETs in this circuit. They form an H bridge with seven MOSFETs in parallel for each branch. The parasitic capacitance is quite large, which is why I need additional totem pole buffers. I use TIP41 and TIP42 transistors here. They are inexpensive and have a maximum current of up to 5 eighths. You can also use D882 and B772 transistors. They are slightly weaker, but still fully meet the requirements. When operating at maximum power, the current running through the circuit can reach nearly 200 amps. Reinforcing the circuit traces is very important. I will use copper foil to solder onto the circuit. You can also use 3mm copper wire for this purpose. These are 80 N70 MOSFETs that I, I took from old circuits. They have very good quality and are very inexpensive. With 28 MOSFETs at 24 volts, the power can reach up to 3 kilowatts without any issues. Don't forget to reinforce the traces on the back of the board as well. They're also very important.
I use three 10,000 UVR hub capacitors to filter the input voltage. In general, the larger the capacitance, the better. There won't be any issues if you use larger capacitors. This is the feedback board, which functions for both voltage and current feedback. I use a small transformer here to isolate the two 20 volts from the 24 volts. This makes it safer for the user. The feedback board will be connected to the main board through a cable. This is the sample product I send to customers. It uses a 3 kVA transformer weighing up to 18 kilograms. With three cooling fans, it can continuously operate at three kilowatts for extended periods without any issues. It includes overload protection, weak battery protection, short circuit protection, and can operate fully automatically when combined with an ATS automatic transfer switch. Peak power can reach six kilowatts within one second. Maximum efficiency is up to 92% with an average efficiency of 90%. If you are interested in this excellent project and would like uh, to purchase the project files, please contact me via email or my personal Facebook. Thank you for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you in future projects.